guys, this is Gushu Rafi. Today I am going to show you how to make Toshi dish. Uh, so guys, for the filling inside, I am just making a simple filling uh, so that it be uh, very simple to you and very tasty too. So for that, I will be using Italian herbs. Uh, if you don't like Italian herbs, you can go ahead and add any flavoring like uh, you can use even garam masala, you can use, use kitchen king masala, you can use any spice you like. And uh, let me tell you, uh, Italian herb is nothing much than garlic, rosemary, thyme, uh, oregano and all this kind of dry spices made into one. That's Italian herb. This is also optional. You can go ahead and use uh, any masala according to your taste. I have butter that I'll be using for cooking. I have sandwiches, uh, sausages, sorry guys, sausages. I have fresh sausages which have been ordered online. As you can see here, really yum yum sausages. Uh, sausages here I have. These, these are really yum flavored sausages. You can use even plain sausages. Then here I have a garlic, pounded garlic or paste, uh, pasted garlic. So uh, now I will show you how to make. Now for the preparation of the sausages, uh, I will take a non-stick pan, add butter, add somewhere around 2 to 3 tablespoons of butter or 2 tablespoons of butter. Once the butter starts melting, it's a very easy and a simple process. As you can see, the butter is nicely getting melted. Once your butter gets melted, all what you've got to do is uh, take very little guys, I don't want a strong flavor of garlic, just half a teaspoon of garlic, then fry it nicely in the butter so that it starts giving the intensifying aroma. In this way, make it, keep it on low flame so that your masala doesn't burn or your thing doesn't burn. Now, uh, you can add a little bit of uh, Italian herbs or if you don't like Italian herbs, you can just keep it simple. I'll be adding a very little of uh, Italian herbs, then a pinch of salt, salt according to your taste, a very less of salt. Here I'm using iron, high iron contained salt. You can go ahead and use any, any kind of salt. Then, I'll be adding sausages into it. These are all already spiced up sausages, spiced up sausages, so there is no need for me to add a large quantity of spice, etc. Uh, I'll be making only five buns, guys, so I'll be using five sausages. And then, toss it well in the masala. Toss it well in the masala in this way. And we'll be closing the lid. Closing the lid and uh, I'll wait for one or two minutes. We should not cook the sausages for a long time as they become hard. Just one minute. You can sprinkle, uh, go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of water. Just very less amount of water. In this way, maybe a two tablespoon of water to keep them nice and moist. And uh, I'll be cooking this for approximately one or two minutes. If you cook it for a long time, it'll just get uh, hardened. So just for two minutes. So guys, uh, now, uh, after one minute with the closed lid, my sausages are <coughs> already been prepared. So uh, I'll just move the lid and cook till it leaves out nice oil and the masala gets penetrated into the sausages. And here we have done with the yummy yummy sausages guys you can go ahead have it in buns uh, you can keep it into rolls chicken roll mutton roll or you can i mean sorry uh, you can make chapatis you can put it into that you can use it in buns uh, you can even um, use it in your hot dogs you can have it in your sandwiches salads uh, and you can make yummy wraps you can add some coriander some onions some fresh veggies you can make some salsa and add with that also in your rolls chapatis breads, hot dogs, 
add some mayo to it. So guys, uh, I'll, now I'll be switching off as it's done. So here we have the yummy, yummy uh, hot dogs ready. Yeah, done with the sausages masala. Please guys, like my videos and subscribe. Bye-bye.